So this is the uh, last question in the um, cover work from the previous lesson. And this question asks, use the following data to show the stability of benzene relative to the hypothetical cyclohexa-135 triene. So um, this word can be broken into parts. We've got cyclo, meaning it's in a circle. Hexa, so we've got six carbons. It's an in, like an alkene, so it's got a compound that's got double bonds. How many double bonds? Well, it's triene, so that means it's got three double bonds. And those double bonds are in positions one, three, and five. So this is the diagram showing us this hypothetical molecule. And remember, this is what the, was originally proposed for the structure of benzene. This is what we know benzene is like with the delocalized electrons. <clears throat> now, when benzene has a reaction with hydrogen, it releases energy. It's an exothermic reaction. And this tells us how much energy it's re is released, 208,000 joules or 208 kilojoules per mole. In the case of this uh, molecule, where there is one double bond, when that's reacted with hydrogen, so the double bond is lost, then we have, again, it's an exothermic reaction, then we have minus 120 kilojoules per mole released. So the question is, what, how much energy would we expect it to release for this molecule? So cyclohexane and cyclohexane is this molecule with one double bond that evolves evolves in this case just means releases energy into the surroundings that's all that that word means in other words it's exothermic it puts out heat it evolves 120 kilojoules per mole Therefore, cyclohexa 1, 3, 5 triene would release or would evolve 3 times 120 to give me 360 kilojoules per mole. So that's what we would expect to be released in this reaction, how much energy would expect to be released if benzene looked like this? Okay, that's how much energy you'd expect. The actual reaction with benzene only releases 208 kilojoules per mole. So we can say a difference of, and if I do 360, take away 208, 152 kilojoules per mole. That's how much. So rather than giving us our 360 kilojoules per mole, which is what we expect, with this structure, it only releases 208 kilojoules per mole, a difference of 152. What does that mean? Well, that means benzene is more stable than um, cyclohexa 135 triene. Why is it more stable? If you think about, if I've got something that's very unstable, a compound that's in effect, for example, explosive, very unstable, it will react and give out a lot of heat. We see that the benzene gives us out less heat than we were expecting, so benzene must be more stable, that is, reacts less than this one, which is the cyclohexane 135 uh, triene. So the benzene must be more stable. Why is it more stable? It is more stable because of the delocalization of electrons. Rather than having the three double bonds, we have this delocalization of electrons in the benzene that makes it more stable. Okay, so that was four marks. You would get the marks, you get marks for working out how much energy you would expect to have been released from this hypothetical 
hypothetical molecule, uh, we get marks for saying that the actual reaction of benzene only releases 208 and working out the difference. And you get marks for mentioning why that is. It's because of the delocalization of electrons.